why my stomach pains as a mother is because after elections, Kenyans, we made prayers. And the prayers we made, we were thanking God for a peaceful election. There was no bloodshed, there was nothing. If we look around here, the number of police officers that have been deployed here, they should be in, they should be in El Gao Marraquet, Kerio Valley, taking care of Kenyans because there are bandits there. Now they are treating uh, Waziri Matiangi as a criminal. Yet the, when the president took office, he said he's going to work with every Kenyan, he's not going to revenge. I'm standing here and waiting for the day we shall see that word from the president that he insisted he's going to treat all Kenyans equal. But what we are seeing here today, it's like it's witch hunt and they've started doing what should not be done in this republic. Thank you. West Mugrango constituency and a member of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. I arrived at the DCI at 7 a.m. and I have witnessed injustice being visited upon a gentleman who has given up everything for Kenya. What he did for our education, we know. What he did for our ICT and digitization of communication, we know. What he has done for our uh, uh, rather security, we know. And then a person of this nature, with so much institutional memory, can be subjected to injustices of this magnitude. I want to thank the people of Gusi and the people of Kenya who have been fasting to listen to the breakfast, to lunch, to the Honorable Matiangi Atoke Villa Metoka. Now, to tap on banana and injustice on Kenyans, let us not be cowed. An injustice to one Kenyan is an injustice to all of us. Let us all stand up. Media, I thank you for standing for justice.